McDonald sends out surveyors to the west to begin parceling out routes for his national dream. But this land has been home to the Métis and the Plains Cree for centuries. When we think of indigenous peoples being a part of Confederation, there was no such thing as that. Indigenous peoples were seen as an obstacle and an obstacle that needed to be removed. On October 11th, 1869, near the settlement of Red River in what is today southern Manitoba, the Métis are determined to send the surveyors away. Leading the group is 25-year-old Louis Riel. Educated at a Catholic seminary in Montreal, Riel has seen firsthand the scale of settlement in the East. He knows what's coming. Louis Riel was a leader that was very passionate about defending the rights of the Métis. He was committed to prevent further European expansion into Indigenous territories. In 15 years, Riel will lead a legendary resistance against the Canadian government, resulting in his execution for treason. His sentence galvanizes future Francophone and Indigenous activists. Louis Riel thought, my great-great-grandchildren are not going to have land if this railroad comes through here. And he did what he had to do. But MacDonald doesn't stop. And as the railway continues to move west, Indigenous nations push back. The Canadian government will not claim the prairies without a fight.